Part 1 of Astounding Stories, January 1930. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Astounding Stories, January 1930. Introduction. Introducing Astounding Stories. What are Astounding Stories? Well, if you lived in Europe in 1490, and someone told you that the Earth was round and moved around the Sun, that would have been an astounding story. Or if you had lived in 1840, and were told that some day men a thousand miles apart would be able to talk to each other through a little wire, or without any wire at all, that would have been another. Or if, in 1900, they predicted ocean-crossing airplanes and submarines, world-girdling zeppelins, 60-story buildings, radio, metal that can be made to resist gravity and float in the air, these would have been other astounding stories. Today, time has gone by, and all these things are commonplace. That is the only real difference between the astounding and the commonplace, time. Tomorrow, more astounding things are going to happen. Your children or their children are going to take a trip to the moon, they will be able to render themselves invisible, a problem that has already been partly solved. They will be able to disintegrate their bodies in New York and reintegrate them in China, and in a matter of seconds. Astounding? Indeed, yes. Impossible? Well, television would have been impossible, almost unthinkable, ten years ago. Now you will see the kind of magazine that it is our pleasure to offer you, beginning with this, the first number of Astounding Stories. It is a magazine whose stories will anticipate the super-scientific achievements of tomorrow, whose stories will not only be strictly accurate in their science, but will be vividly, dramatically, and thrillingly told. Already we have secured stories by some of the finest writers of fantasy in the world, men such as Ray Cummings, Murray Leinster, Captain S.P. Meek, Harl Vincent, R.F. Starzl, and Victor Rousseau. So order your next month's copy of Astounding Stories in advance. The Editor End of Part 1